everyone. My name is Hayden Potzel, and I'm a science student here at the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. As such, I spend a lot of time here in the newest addition to the academic buildings on campus, Hillside Auditorium. It is here you will find a beautiful exhibition of artwork from three internationally renowned artists hidden in plain sight. The installation was titled Sustenance, Contemporary Artists Reuse, Repurpose, and Recreate. And it is in this context, among others, that we will be examining the difference between black and white. If you'll follow me downstairs, I'll tell you a little bit more about the artist and my favorite piece in this exhibition, Willie Cole. Cole was born in New Jersey in 1955 and grew up between the two worlds of Somerville, a small suburb, and the city of Newark. He had dual experiences fluidly moving between his Christian family and a contemporary African-American community filled with multilingual speech and African religions. Additionally, Cole has an interest in East Asian culture. He studied Eastern religion and philosophy during his undergraduate, he practiced Buddhism and yoga, and viewed traveling exhibits in a notably large collection in the Newark Museum focusing on Tibetan art. These cultural themes, African, African American, and East Asian, find themselves in many of his artwork. Additionally, Cole exploits the human touch of used objects, often by repurposing them in his pieces. Utilitarian objects such as irons and shoes are commonplace throughout his portfolio. The piece at hand, for example, embodies many of these characteristics, the most apparent of which is that it is composed of high heel shoes. There are also several other features that grab your attention when, when viewing it for the first time. For example, you register that you're looking at two concentric circles, objects with radial symmetry. The inner circle, predominantly white, is surrounded by a larger circle, predominantly black. Upon further inspection, it becomes apparent that the number of black shoes is far larger than the number of white ones. Furthermore, the sculpture occupies a single plane parallel to the wall and spans eight feet across and is therefore noticeably flat. Upon closer inspection, you can see each of the individual screws that Willie Cole used to mount the shoes onto the wood. This creates a texture that, if you could feel it, you imagine it would be something like running your hand down the spine of a fish. Running it outward would be just fine, but as you try to move it inward, it would catch on each one of the individual shoes. And speaking of individual shoes, the longer that we view the sculpture, the more each shoe begins to stand out. An example of this is the black shoe with a reflective pink insole that is in the second ring from the inner circle. It is quickly identifiable in almost any image of the sculpture. Additionally, while the radial symmetry is readily apparent and quickly noticeable, the reality is that each of these shoes is different and that these imperfections and unique characteristics prevent perfect symmetry. Using the analysis methods of iconography and iconology, Cole's rationale behind the sculpture can be explored. The title itself immediately primes us to consider race while viewing the sculpture. The sculpture is divided or segregated into black and white areas with little mixture of color, an exception to this being the innermost circle of shoes that consists of white shoes with black toes. Examining the form of the sculpture, we notice that it is quite similar to a flower, which suggests undertones of growth and beauty, but also fragility. Considering his interests in Tibetan art, we can derive significance out of the circular nature of the sculpture. No longer is it simply a flower, but it can be interpreted as a representation of a mandala, i.e. a representation of the universe. This places the sculpture and its message, at least for a moment, in a far larger or even infinitely large context. Standing beside Cole's eight-foot sculpture has a way of changing your perspective. Physically, I felt small. The sculpture hangs a few feet off the ground, making it extend several feet above my head, while it spans an equal distance horizontally. Looking at the difference between black and white, overall, gave me a psychological experience similar to that of looking on a graveyard. You think about the past lives of each of the owners of these shoes, and you think about the special occasion for which they were purchased and the miles that they've walked, and the things that they've seen. It makes me think about being just another pair of boots in this world, and without ever have conceptualizing this piece as a mandala, I began to think of myself in the context of the universe. And honestly, this piece of artwork made me empathize with people that I'd never even met, or never will.